What do I tell my buyers after they've gotten beat out on numerous offers and now they're discouraged to not look anymore? I have very strong thoughts about this question because it goes back to setting proper expectations. Like, you're a realtor. Your job is to, to, to do the best you can for your client, your buyer in this case. If you know, you guys have this, this data, right? Let's use the data to our, 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 our advantage here. If you're looking at your hot sheet on MLS or you're pulling a report on MLS and you see that the price that it's listed at and it actually sold, the list to sell price is five, 10, 20, three, whatever percentile, right? It's 10% sell, it's, homes are selling in this area 10% higher than they're listed at. If my buyer is listed, is a $300,000 buyer, I need to educate them on that. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, let me tell you something. Every home is going for 10% on average above ask. So I'm, although I'm gonna show you $300,000 homes, I don't want you to get sold that your dream house and you're going to get it. Because one, it's a very competitive market. Sp specifically right now during springtime, it's only gonna get hotter. Now, it may take us five, may take us 10 offers to actually get the home that you want. If we get it on home one or two, we hit the jackpot. We're all gonna be jumping for joy and celebrating. I'm gonna bring champagne, we're gonna have a great time because we beat the odds. But I'm telling you right now, the market is very, very hot. It's a seller's market. There's a lot of demand for sellers and the houses are selling more. So I might occasionally send you homes that are in the 270 price range, the 280 price range, because I know that we're gonna have to write it 300,000. Like to me guys, your, your buyers, Yes, some of them will get frustrated. I get it. You can't control that. But what you can control is, you can't control setting the proper expectation. You can't control the data that you actually have in front of you that you pay for your dues to get and use it to your advantage. You, you can actually do those things where if your buyer does get frustrated or if they do get angry, it's not like it's your fault. Because I'm telling you, they're gonna look at you. You're not a good enough realtor because my best friend just got a property in the same price range or my cousin in a whole different state got it. Like, I always wanted to control every situation I had and for me to control that, I, I used the data, the knowledge, and my expertise to over deliver on expectation. If we found it, guys, if we found the property on, on home two, we did celebrate with my clients, right? And guess what I did? I exceeded their expectation because I told them it might take 10 offers and I exceeded their expectation. So I, I, I can't give you an exact answer on why your buyer's frustrated. They have every right to. And you might tell them, guess what, buyer? You might get frustrated because I'm working with a lot of buyers. I'm very busy. I, I got a lot of deals going on and I'm finding that a lot of my buyers are getting frustrated because it's a seller's market and because they're getting outbid and I don't want you to be that buyer, right? So I'm telling you this because I don't want you to get frustrated. I want you to see a little light at the end of the tunnel and I'm telling you, baby, we're gonna get there. My real estate hat's on for you and we're gonna get there, but I just, I'm just i setting you up for this so, so that you are very aware of it and you're patient and I, I'm telling you, good things come to those who wait and it's happening. So I think you have to have those conversations with your buyers. I, I hate when I see realtors out there and they don't have those expectations and then guess what happens? Their buyer's upset, their buyer's mad. And unfortunately, you do play a part in that. And it's our obligation to over communicate this and show that these are the expectations that a true buyer should have. We gotta educate them, guys. We're the educators, right? Be an educated realtor. Good luck.